G'day everyone, I'm reporting to you from my bathroom. We've just figured out that we've got a leak and it's coming from the ball cock valve just in here. So I want to show you today how to fix it, how to repair it. Super cheap, a couple of dollars and your toilet will be working well, it won't be leaking anymore and you'll be right to have guests around again. So just to fill you in on what was going wrong is we would always come back to this bathroom and hear the bath or the toilet running and just hear that that sound of water disappearing down the drain, wasting money, wasting water. So we had my father-in-law who's very handy, Tony, came around and figured out that we've got an issue with the ball cock. That's a, a rude word, don't repeat it, but it's actually what this thing is called. So when you look in here, you can um, unscrew this and you'll see the water level is right at the right amount, but if it gets too high, it starts to run down just here. And that's what was happening. Essentially, water was coming up and through here consistently. The ballcock valve wasn't sealing and water was just simply running over the top and running down the loo. So when we discovered this, we saw that this valve had um, aged quite a bit. It's perforated, it's not sealing, and therefore the water can be running up through this spot. So today we're gonna replace this, fix it, and get it as new. Um, just ducked up to Bunnings today, and we've got ourselves assorted ball cup washers. As you can see, it's got those bits and pieces in here. I've opened it up, but when you look on the back, you can see which is for, and pretty sure ours is gonna suit a Caroma between 1981 and 2000. So let's put this thing together. And it comes with three different washers, and it tells you which one you need. Obviously, we're gonna need this red circular one here, and this black little bit here as well. And if we ever get a new toilet, it looks like we'll be right with doing that too. So here's the original. We're gonna peel it off, and you can really see how it's meant to look versus how it actually looks. And you know, this could be 30, 40 years old. I really don't know how long it's been there for. So time for a new one. We're also gonna get this little black bit out in the middle. This one is rather tricky. Just using plastic on plastic here. I don't wanna dig, dig metal in here just in case I break the, the surrounds. You can let me know in the comments below if there's an easier way, but there we go, we've got that out. And as you can see, it is just falling apart. So we'll put those ones there. All right, let's give it a quick clean. Oops. These look like they're exactly the same, so I'm just gonna put a new one in. Press it in. And then this bit's gonna go over the top. So as you can see, it's a reasonably tight fit. And we are back in action. Good as new compared to where we were at. If we look at what it used to look like, quite a difference. All right, so we're back into the bathroom. Let's install this thing. So you'll see when you look under here, you have to place it up in that hole in the right direction and then in the right direction in here too. So let's get into it. Just slide that in in the right direction. Make sure it fits snugly. Let's flush the toilet and we'll turn on the water again.
turn the water on again and let's see it this time that sounds better there we go that's better So another little thing we need to look at now is the, I guess how much that float is responsive to letting water in. And as we can see, it hasn't been able to fill up to this point yet, uh, simply because it must've been much tighter to try and get that seal before. So this is the screw we wanna change. And what we're gonna do here is just dial it back till we start to get that water flowing again. And you'll see as we push it down, we get that water flowing through there again. So we're gonna to need to get this changing here. I'm gonna style it till it stops. All right. So, bit of DIY. Let's see if it works. I think it's right, but I've never done this before, so we'll see if it works, and if not, Tony Johnson will come to the rescue and fix it. All right, have a great day.